Proper cleaning and sanitization is key to a successful home brewing and fermentation experience. Nothing ruins a batch of beer faster than unwanted contamination. So the first step into proper cleaning and sanitization is to prepare a bucket of mild detergent solution, a bucket with sanitizer solution, and then a bucket with clean rinse water. And you can follow the manufacturer's directions for each of the products you have chosen to use. One thing that's important to mention is that you should not use bleach to sanitize the fermenter. It can damage stainless steel surfaces and it will void the warranty. The first step in sanitizing is to remove the sediment removal system from the unit, from the vessel, and then bring it to a clean work surface to work with. The first step is to use the 1 8 provided wrench and remove the four screws, two on either side, from the assembly. There's two screws on the top, and then there's two units also at the bottom. Use the same wrench provided to remove those. Okay, with the four screws removed, we can now take the top half off, set it aside, and then we can remove the ball assembly from the unit. From the ball assembly itself, we can remove the gasket and set it aside. Now, from the ball assembly itself, we can use a little bit of prime pressure and a fingernail insertion to remove the ball seat. We do that on both sides of the ball assembly. Inside the grooves, there is a black gasket. Here's a tip, in order to remove the gasket from the groove, it's easy to use a credit card and just without damaging the rubber or the plastic, you can remove that fairly easily. And we set that aside as well. Again, you do that on both sides. All right, we set them aside. Now, inside the ball assembly, we have this part that we can push out with our fingers and that is removed like this. With the piston removed from the ball assembly, you'll notice that there's two gaskets right in inside grooves in this part as well. To remove that, there's a couple of different ways, a couple of different tips to use it. Some people like to press and squeeze and thus raise the gasket out, and that doesn't work too well for me. But the other trick is to use the uh, credit card like we did before and just simply ride inside the groove and pull the gasket out and setting that aside. We do that for both gaskets. All right. Now that we have removed the piston from inside the ball assembly, there is a couple things remaining, and that is to remove the ball seats from inside the stainless steel um, half spheres, if you will. To do this again, you use some pressure and you pry with your fingernails and slowly push out until it comes out. Notice that there's also a gasket that rides in here. It was left behind when I pulled out the seat, but normally this is how that gasket would ride inside that groove. Okay, we set that aside as well, and we simply repeat the process for the other half of the sphere assembly. And here comes the second one, as well as the second gasket. Okay, so now we have all the parts disassembled and we're ready for cleaning and sanitizing.